Hey everyone, welcome back. And today is not necessarily gonna be a medical or medical technology type video. I'm sitting here at an airport and I'm paying attention to numbers because that's another thing that I love. I love numbers. It's it's kind of like a, a giant game to me to uh, to pay attention to markets and different different assets. And I just now was reading that um, a lot of large banks are cutting off people's home equity line of credit. They're freezing the accounts, and that should set off red alarms everywhere because the last time they did that was back in 2008 so the reason that i'm bringing this up on this video is because one thing that has been painfully clear to me across my career is that a lot of older generation biomeds are absolutely afraid to leave their job or to uh, retire because they are completely financially unstable and i don't even understand how that happens because just being honest, biomeds get paid well above national average. So if I know people that are making about national average that are very financially stable, why are biomeds just fluttering, you know, completely in the breeze? Um, anyway, I just wanted to bring that up that uh, the whole reason that banks freeze home equity line of credits is because that's a superficial equity. And if we're in a bullish market and home values go up and up and up, well, that's a reliable set of data to compute equity, you know, but equity is superficial uh, because we are clearly in a bubble. <laughs> Guys, we are in such a bubble. I was looking at jobs in like Des Moines and there's jobs all over the place in the, in the middle of nowhere and you're looking at home values and you're talking 2,300 square foot house and they want like $300,000 for it and you're like... Wow, guys, <laughs> we are in an absolute bubble. And as I was reading, uh, banks have frozen many people's home equity lines of credit. So that is a, a, a screaming red light right there that some bad stuff is about to happen. And they know it. And of course they know it. They're, they're all about cashing out as much as they can while they can. So guys, I'm making this video to remind you guys that if there's things that you can sell to create a pocket of money, if there's a huge vacation you were thinking about taking, maybe you might want to not do that right now, okay? Because, guys, it's the truth that there's been a moratorium on uh, foreclosures and evictions, and, well, guess what? The court systems around this entire country are completely chocked full on a waiting list to get your evictions and to get your um, foreclosures. So guys, when foreclosures start happening in your neighborhood, that's when all the neighboring houses are now comparables and your value goes down too. And it's a rolling wave effect across entire neighborhoods. It decimated the country uh, back in 2008 and 2009. And uh, it's about to happen again. So I, I'm just telling you guys that maybe, maybe if you had some major expenses or something, if you can hold off, maybe you might want to. And um, if you're about to make a move to another job, this is an excellent time to do it. Uh, because in the near future, foreclosures are going to start happening and evictions are going to start happening. And when that starts happening, the whole entire market just completely falls apart. We have been in a bullish market for a long time and it's about to change so i was just gonna put this video out there just as a heads up i pay attention to so much other stuff other medical technology and i love absolutely love reading financial stuff i i, I promise guys i'm not really that boring <laughs> but it's it's true like you will understand a lot more of the world if you pay attention to the little details of stuff that's going on in markets so but guys, just putting this out there that uh, something is about to happen and it's becoming painfully clear right now. So if you can sell stuff, keep a pocket of money, do so. Um, if you are going to have a major expense that was optional, maybe you might want to hold off on that. Uh, and if you're thinking about buying a house, obviously, this is not the right time to be buying a house, guys. Um, not unless you're moving across the country to some fantastic dream job. Um, this is not the time because I'll tell you when the market crashes, 
if and when, it's a when, um, you're going to lose 50000 to to 100000 off the value of your home, almost guaranteed. You know, these 2,300 square foot homes that are selling for over $300,000, and here it's a 1990s home, you know, it's 30 some years old, you know, not updated kitchen or anything, and here they want over $300,000 for this home in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah, guys, beware. This is not the time to be buying a home. But uh, food for thought, all right? Anyway, I hope you all have a, a very good weekend. I'm off call finally, and I'm waiting to pick somebody up here at the airport, and I can finally start enjoying my weekend. Thanks for watching, guys.